everyone, I'm Izzy. Welcome to the second part of super cool alternatives to popular names. Um, if you haven't watched the first part, you can go do that. And basically, this is where I choose from the top 50 in the US, the top 50 most popular names for 2019. And then I pick alternatives that are unique, cool, but most of all, unranked. So that means they are not in the top 1000 for 2019 and for most of these names they were never in the top 1000. Also if you love names you can subscribe to this channel for new name videos every Friday. So let's get started. We did girls first uh, last time so let's do boys first now and so the first name that I picked from the top 50 is Josiah and then an alternative that I found that wasn't ranked was Oshaya. I did not find a lot of info on this name. Um, I know that it has been used as a surname. I also read that it was an American version of a Yiddish name and that's about all I found about it but I like the sound of it. Oshaya. Next is Julian. So for Julian I thought first of Julius. It is much less popular than Julian but it is ranked in the top 1000 but it could still work as an alternative. Otherwise um, there is Jules that is completely unranked. Jules is just like the short form of Julian but it can be totally used as a name by itself. Next is Elijah. For Elijah I found the name Ajaya which is technically a girl's name but I thought it could really work as a boy's name. And if you've watched a few other of my videos, you kind of start getting uh, how I feel about boy names and girl names. I feel like you could just take a name and just go with the flow if you feel it could work for a boy and then just go for it. Next really popular name that I picked was Dylan. Uh, I love the meaning of Dylan. It's, um, it means something about the sea. I'm not sure. I'll look it up and then I'll write it. Um, and then an, a name that I found to replace that um, would be Tillin. So it is mostly used, it is a surname, but um, you know, surnames as names is really becoming a thing now. So Tillin could totally work. It sounds like Dylan, it's not Dylan, it's not ranked. There you go. For Lincoln, I found a few super cool alternatives. Well, I think, I think they're super cool. The first one is Link, like that video game character. Um, when I was little and I heard that name for the first time, I was like, that is such a cool name. And I always wanted to be that character just because he had a cool name. So Link could work as a name or Lynx for a nature name. Lynx with a Y and then and the X, I mean, how cool of a name would that be? And then Linkson is um, one that I came up with. I don't know if it's an actual name. I should have looked that up and I did not. Um, you can look it up if you like it. <laughs> um, for David, you just do what I did with Thomas in the last video. You just add a little syllable. You got yourself Davidson. You have the name David in there as well if you love the name David but you're not ready to use it because it's too popular. Why not just go with Davidson? You can still use Dave. You can still even use David. Um, next is Asher. I really love the name Asher, but it is getting very popular. It is in the top 50, obviously, if I'm talking about it here. And an alternative for Asher that I found is Acker. Acker is also a surname, but it has the same sound, the same number of syllables, and it means field. So it's a it's a nice sort of nature meaning as well. Uh, for Logan, I went with another surname, Hogan, which is an Irish surname meaning, um, it means descendant of the young ones. For Matthew, I changed it with a name that's really popular around where I live and it's Mathis, or in French it would be Matisse. So, um, it means the same thing as Matthew, so gift of God and it's just a nice variation of Matthew. Next is Anthony. Anthony means priceless one. Priceless one. That's so cute. It's so sweet. Um, and I just went with the French version, which is Antoine. I was surprised to see that it had been ranked in the past years, but it was not ranked for 2019. Next, we have Wyatt. For Wyatt, I found the name Wyler, which means that it's an occupational name, which means something that has to do with wheels. So like fixer of wheels or like wheel something with wheels. Um, <laughs> and then you have Zayat which uh, you just take with a Y 
put in a Z right there. You've got a whole new name, Zayat. Very little information for that name online. Um, I almost doubted that it was a name, but then I found that it was, it had been a surname, very, very rare. But um, we could totally bring Zayat up um, on the charts. I mean, it sounds cool. And then we have Hudson. I think Hudson was actually like the, the 50th name, like on the top 50 was number 50. A name that kind of sounds like Hudson that could be used as an alternative uh, would be Upton, which you would think is a surname. It is, but there's actually an American writer uh, who had the name Upton Sinclair. And the last name for boys is Sebastian. And I went with just a diminutive form of that, Bastion. Oh, that's not right. Let's move on to the girl names. Um, we have Sophia first. Sophia, um, a nice substitute for that would be Solia or Solia. You have the word um, sun in there. So sol in Spanish means sun. So Solia or Solia just reminds me of the sun right away when I hear it. Next we have Charlotte. So for Charlotte, I thought of names such as Charlize, Charlene, a very old fashioned Southern sounding name, um, Carlita as well, or Lottie, which is a diminutive, I have such a hard time with that word, a short form of Charlotte. And next for Penelope, I got the name Vanellope, which is totally a character from Wreck-It Ralph. Um, I don't think the name has been used in anything else than that. But if you dare, you, uh, you know, could always use it. Otherwise, there's another name. Let me see if I can pronounce it pr properly. Persephone. So Persephone um, has the same length, the same sounds. Um, so I think it could really work. I did read a bit about it, about a woman who named her daughter Persephone. And then most people, when she would tell her daughter's name to them, they would think she said Stephanie. So that was a bit annoying to her, but then she said she put Persephone as a first name and then she gave her a sort of a more common middle name so that she could always use that if ever um, it was too difficult to go around being named Persephone. But I do like um, Nate. <laughs> what was that? That wasn't even a word. I do like Nate. <laughs> it was like a horse coming out. <laughs> okay, let's become human again. <sighs> Persephone. Yes. There you go. Let's move on. <laughs> Okay, Lucy now. <laughs> Lucy, um, Lumi could work. Lumi means snow in Finnish. Lumi. For Audrey, um, there's the less common Audra. For Everly, I've read this name um, not too long ago and I really fell in love with it right away. And it's Riverly and it's not even ranked. It's beautiful. Gives me the same vibes as Everly, of course. Waverly, it's a water name. You can see the river in there. Um, Riverly. Love it. For Natalie, a nice replacement for this that's super uncommon would be Edelie. So you have Edda, that's an old fashioned name, and then you just add Lee to get Edelie. So there you go, Edelie. Um, for Layla, why not just go with Taylor? You just change the first letter and you got yourself a name there. It was ranked uh, for like maybe one or two years in the 2000s, but, but it was not ranked in 2019 or I think the few years before that either. For Willow, I love Willow, but it is becoming so popular. They are alternatives. I don't think they measure up to Willow, but um, here's the ones that I found. You have Willia, which is nice. You have Wella, or you have the very old fashioned Wilma. Next for Violet, you could have Viola which is an instrument name. It's also the name of the character. It's a Shakespeare name and um, it was used in the movie She's the Man because that story is based off of the Shakespeare play that, you know, Viola is from. For Emily, you could go with Amelie, which has a similar sound. For both Avery and Aubrey, you could go with the name Avery. For Evelyn, you could go with either Evelina, which is a more Scandinavian version of Evelyn, or you could go with Avelyn as well. And lastly, for both Isabella and Isabel, I'm, I know Isabella is part of the top 50. I, I'm not sure Isabel is. I think it might be in the top maybe 100. I have Isadora, 
Arabelle or Isidore. Isidore is um, technically a boy's name, but who cares? <laughs> it sounds great as a girl's name as well, in my opinion anyways. Well, Isadora and Isidore can both have the nickname Izzy, which if you love the nickname Izzy, but you don't want to go with Isabel or Isabella, then there you go. And that is it for my name alternatives. I might do another part eventually, um, but in the meantime, I will just see you in the next video and I wish you all the best and see you later. Bye-bye.